Are we rolling? I guess so. All right, so happy Thanksgiving 2021. I ordered from uh, Extreme Terrain. I ordered uh, some black diff skids and for Black Friday sales. I got uh, black diff skids for the ring litter. Anyway, but um, I'm just going to go through here. I guess, so. what is it called? This is called the uh, jail... Jeep JL Rubicon M220 rear diff skid from Rough Country. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to be installing them. Take a look. As you can see here, I put them on the. I drove it up these ramps. And should be an easy install. <clears throat> I wouldn't go to the Rubicon without it. Put the uh, rear diff skid on here and the front diff skid up there. That should about cover it, I think. Who knows? We'll see. Oh, and I also ordered some uh, some new shocks. Um, shoot, <laughs> Black Friday sales. Uh, was it called Super Lift Shadow Shocks? So anyway, I'm gonna be installing those. And then I'll, I'll, from there, all I need is the uh, Super Chips or Taser JL, one of the two, to uh, recalibrate the uh, the tire sizes. But yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. All right, talk later. Okay, for the uh, first set of instructions, it says remove the four bottom diff bolts. And then install the skid plate with those bolts or with the uh, supplied bolts. And then install the clamp clamp with supplied hardware. And that's what it should look like. Pretty much the same thing for the front. Remove the four bottom. And I guess, I don't know what that's about, but it looks like uh, maybe five. This one too. Who knows? Oh, these. These four skip these two outer ones. Opposed to the rear, it's uh, all four bottom. Front is remove the two bottom and the two just above. Install skid plate. Install the clamp. And there you go. Happy. Alrighty. Let's get to work. So today I'm going to use my highly modified Harbor Freight Jack. As you can see, I just put some wood. I actually used it for a number of things. Gas tanks, gas tank skids, stuff like that. I don't mind that. So I'm just going to set that like that. Set the, the disc get on there. Make it easy. Make it easy to install. No sense in struggling. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. All right. Okay, the instruction says you're gonna need a 13 millimeter. And you're gonna need a 916 socket, but we're gonna need a 10 millimeter as well to remove the. Uh, oh, the little camera. The bolts on the back. These are. These are 10 millimeters. Just so you know, so you're gonna need that I know of. 916, 13 millimeter, and now a 10 millimeter. All right. Okay, the, the four bolts are removed. The bottom of the rear diff. Okay, I got the four bolts and 30, 13 millimeter socket ready with the washers. And got the jack and the skid lined up so we'll raise it up a little bit. I 
that's kind of crooked. I'm gonna have to put the camera down, but you get the idea. Okay, so I'm trying to start these two, but the sockets generally empty, right? So that's that's the beauty of these OEM ones. This type of uh, bolt and these uh, little washers kind of shove it in there, and, and just you can shove it in there. It's it's not gonna slip through. But uh, here's here's an old trick I learned years ago. Shove some paper in there. And then that'll help you get these things going. Now that the four uh, bolts have been started, now it's time to lower the jack. And uh, work on the front strap. Okay, for the uh, for the front strap, just I'm not a, <clears throat> not too thrilled the way it sits. Cause that's as tight as it'll get. I ended up using this and a, just a regular just a regular uh, wrench to hold that. But uh, yeah, <clears throat> for ninety bucks, what do you expect? <laughs> it was on Christmas sale or Black Friday sale. But um, I don't know how many more they're going to make like this, but I don't know. Maybe a spacer would work. But the reason I like it, this is the reason I like it. It's got this uh, yoke protection. I was, for a long time, I was thinking of the Rancho one. The Rancho one doesn't have this. <clears throat> but the protecting the yoke is very important. So that's why I ended up eventually going with this one <clears throat> after what two two and a half years this is what it looks like not bad i like it <clears throat> i highly recommend it especially after the videos i've seen of people on the rubicon that should uh about do the trick for the diff all right talk to you later Okay, so the, for the front diff, remove the uh, the four screws that previously identified. There's basically the two bottom middle ones, skip one, and then the and the top one, uh, the one up here. Then you just slide them in. And, um, and then for the back, the back. Let's see. This this was a bummer. I was hoping to be a, do a better job. It's not going to protect the yoke. Just I was hoping that no one makes it to where something that'll protect the yoke. But anyway, so plug that in, tighten them up, and that's about it. I'm gonna get to work now. All right, it's all done. The front the diff cover is installed. I mean, diff skid is installed, as you can see. Yes installed what do I call that thing? Skip, this skid yeah protects protects it I think it protects it way better than a regular cover I mean look at where the bolts are out of the way the first thing it's gonna hit is this so that's not gonna be too much of a problem but right here is gonna gonna take the hit first so I don't know they you spend good money on a diff and it comes with a good cover as designed by engineers why well, try to perfect it the only thing I'm trying to do is protect it and this disc it does a, a pretty good job at that I believe the only thing I don't like you well know, make sure you uh, run the, uh, the the nut on the top side so you do don't Put carry down over? yeah I'm I'm videoing right now you want to you want to say hi to the audience oh, thank you. no okay <laughs> But anyway, what I don't really care for is the fact that here's the yoke and there's no protection. So, in fact, uh, that, that's beady. We were, were talking about getting a, a welder finally, build something, protect it. That's what I would need. But there's the, let me see, the uh, rear view, or the front view of the rear disket. 
and that's the front diff skid. Of course, I've seen the videos of the uh, drain plug getting damaged on the Rubicon. So I'm like, okay, so I'm gonna need a uh, diff skid. So that's it. All right, that's all for now. Have a good one.